Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the newest and hottest diesel pusher winning best in show for RV business, RV news, and RV pro. Super excited to show everybody this unit. This is a 2022 Fleetwood Frontier model 36SS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Frontier and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited. We finally found one, folks. We finally found the 36SS. Super excited. We're gonna do the outside real quick because there's a little bit of wind noise outside. And if you can't stand the wind, we will have a time stamp to the inside and wait till you see the inside. It's absolutely a beautiful bath and a half. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everybody. Hey, where's the American flag? I think they took, oh, it's over there. No, where's ours? Oh, they took it down me because it's windy. Yes, <laughs> yes. But I'm excited because, you know, I love Fleetwood. Yes. So I'm excited to see this, everybody. Andrea. Hold on. Let's begin. Model is Fleetwood Frontier. This is the newest model. The uh, 36 SS. Actual tip, tip length. It's 35 feet, 4 inches, okay? This is a Frontier. I love the headlight sign. Look at it. Kind of looks like an elf. You know what I'm saying? A uh, real Zelda-like, Zelda style. It does have generator 6000 Cummins on in it does have a 340 horsepower Cummins engine and this has what's called an XCR chassis which is raised rail which I'll show you in a second now the Fleetwood Frontier is sister product to the super popular holiday rambler Nautica the only difference is the Nautica they don't make this floor plan but the Frontier they do so it just is what it is right up there we got the mobile eye collision mitigation the Freedom Sport chassis and then look at all the awards. You know what I'm saying? Coming on down the side here, we do got mirrors on both sides with cameras integrated in the mirrors. Front bus style door, okay? Freedom Brand Sport chassis on the XCR. You'll see what that means in just a second. Door awning right up there. And then look at these tires, Dragon and the Michelins. I love those. 275-80R22.5 with shiny alcohol rims. You do got fuel filters on both sides. And then look, look at these slide outs. Flush. Flush slide out, Samsung TV on the outside. That's a big TV. I love that. Right? Frameless windows and an armless awning with wind sensor. Nice. Andrea, why aren't we putting the awning out today? It's very windy. Yes, ma'am, <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Ooh. Very nice. Yes. Look at that. Put it in there so it doesn't... Can you see that? Nice. Very nice. Show all that storage over there as well. Yes, and then what's so nice about this Morai tray, it does pull out on both sides of the motorhome. This wind is really ticking me off today. So Jen, Jen, we're gonna show all the exterior storage. Put some groovy music on Trey. Give me a style. Uh, reggae. Reggae? Give me some reggae music. Motorhome, 10 tow, 10,000 pounds. Very nice rear. Look at that paint job. I love that. Beautiful. Um, backup camera, ladder. Cuts 100 degree wind. We're not gonna climb up on the roof. It is a TPL roof, two AC units. Um, and Jen, continue the reggae. Hey. Thanks, Jen. 
right here, we do got our wet bay. As you guys saw over there, that was an electric power cord reel, which is nice. Over here is the other side of the storage. Dude, these dual doors are crazy, Andre, aren't they? Yes, I love them. Man. Nice, Aqua Hot 250 hydronic heating system. That's right, this is the uh, most least expensive all electric coach. There is no propane, but Jen, bing, please put specs right there. And then right here, it's gonna be some of your other stuff. Well, Andrea, let's get the heck out of the wind. Run, Matt, run. <laughs> Don't forget the cargo. 5,802 pounds. Wow. Okay, everybody. All right, look at this. Slide is in. As you can see, I got plenty of walk space. And even right here, let's see, we got a panel here. And then look, it gets a little bit tight right here, but it's still doable. And we've got the half bath. And then the bed looks like to a tilt-a-bed. And then there is the master bathroom back there. Yes. And Andrea, before we begin, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life. Tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's going to tell you the best routes, and you can go with your RV Safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, look at this. Beautiful, nice, never seen a floor plan quite like this. I've seen floor plans similar to this, but never exactly like this, kicking butt, Take your names, Andre. Let's get started up front here in the cockpit area. Oh, look at the seats. Hell yeah. Big old freight liner seats. Pretty. Sit in my co-captain's chair right there. While she does that, I got a nice cup holder here. It's the freight liner, okay? So this is going to be an adjustable steering wheel. It's going to go up and down just like this. In and out telescoping. We got our digital dash right there. Mobile eye, collision mitigation, you can see your camera screens. Uh, everything that you're gonna want is all right here. You know what I want? Oh yeah, that's what I want, some AC. How do you feel right over there, Andrea? Oh, it feels great, it feels comfortable. Nobody can see ya. Well, I was looking for the snuff cover, here it is. There you go. But, uh, okay, so you guys, those of you that don't are familiar with diesel pushers, most of them have a stuff cover here. Why would they do that? Well, that way, you know, you're not falling in down there. Yes, because on diesel pushers, it's a front bus style door. There's the step cover. So that's where your feet are going, so you don't right. want to fall down the steps. Exactly. Whereas other motor homes, the doors will be back there, not where the area that you're driving. Now these seats are really comfortable. Yeah. Um, it does have a foot rest right here. Yes. And they swivel. So Fully becomes, swivel. Yep. Yeah, becomes part of the living area. Fully swivable and um, adjustable seats. I have a cup holder here. Um, I was looking, no workstation. Nope. But we but have daytime and privacy shades. Pull them all the way down, Andrea. Daytime yes. and nighttime. Very nice. Right there is just going to be some of your controllers. Okay, auto leveling and everything. What do we got right over here? Slide to the left. Very nice. 
nice insignia TV there. And then this is uh, like your King Air digital antenna and everything else. And then Andrea. Yes. Look at that. It's beautiful. You know what? We're going to switch it up. Okay. You do the kitchen first. All right. Oh, okay. You don't have to ask me twice. Yes. All right. So we got a residential Whirlpool refrigerator here. You know what's so unique about that? What? How it's right by the driver's seat. Uh -huh. So if you need a beer while you're driving, right. you don't need to pull over. You can just get it. All right. Nice refrigerator. Man. Great, great size. We've got a nice freezer here. Um, yes. Kitchen is gorgeous. I love the LED lights above the slide. Beautiful. Here is your Whoa. pantry or... I don't know. I guess you yeah. Pull pantry. Pull out pantry. Okay, and we've got a peninsula here. Hey, that's a pull out peninsula. Beautiful solid surface countertop. Wow. We've got, let's see, three drawers here. Yes, ma'am. How big those are. Those are great. All right. We've got an insignia convection microwave. Residential. And we've got, oh, beautiful backsplash. I like that a mm. lot. And we've got a two burner induction cooktop. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got all this storage right here. Andrea, Look at sell, that. The, sell the kids. Let's go. Well, I know, right? <laughs> we've got a pretty frosted cabinet here with adjustable shelves. Yes. Okay, I love the panoramic window. That's one of my favorite features in here. You sure do. And then we've got a farmhouse sink. Very, very nice. Mm, mm, mm. With the extension. Yes, ma'am. We've got a cabinet there. Yes. Another. Oh, yay! Jeez. Hey, that's a hundred and four dollar trash can. Yeah. I think it might be more now. And then we've got another cabinet there. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Andrea, beautiful, beautiful motorhome. Yes. Now check out what we got going on over this here. This is interesting, Matt. It's an office area. Okay, you ready? Check this out. Oh. Wow. Yes, ma'am. That is so cool. Yes, yeah, so let me get the pull out peninsula in. So you have an office area, but you also have a dinette area. So many people are quitting their jobs, they're throwing it up. They're like, deuces, I wanna work on the road. Now you can. Or you can do it like this to have the dinette. And I'll try it. Look at all that storage underneath there. Yes. Mm. So nice. I like this. Oh, adjustable shelves down here. Yes. And Matt, it's so cute when you had it the other way because, like, you know, if your husband and wife and you want to work next to each other. Yes. <laughs> you can be like Matt and I. Working together all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then you still, like, have all this up here, too. You got electrical outlets. Mm. You still got plenty of space there. Tons of storage. Here as well. So he has his side, I have my side. And something I want to comment on, you're getting the plugs and the USBs right, right there. Just freaking amazing. And and look, nice uh -huh. window right here. So you have a really nice view. Yes, pu pull down the MCDs. That one all the way down, daytime. Ooh, then look at that I like shade. that. It kind of goes with the balances. Look at the balances. Yes. Andrea? Approved! Very nice. I'm not going to lie. I mess with those balances a lot myself. Oh, some nice looking balances. Up here we got storage. Love the cabinetry. Cause it's not just, listen, we met the, um, not we, but me. I met the uh, interior designer for Fleetwood. And what she was saying was like, a lot of people do white cabinets, right? But it's these accent colors on the inside that really like complement the gray yes. in here. And it's just like, dude, you know, I think, hey, a white cabinet's a white cabinet. You know what I'm saying? But it's not, it's that level, it's that contour, that whatever. Look at the nice big windows. Uh-oh. Nice sofa. And that panel yeah. there just fell off. Yes. But look, at the ends recline. Yes. And then directly across, look at that nice TV. I like the light behind the TV as well. Little things like that just makes it look beautiful. Sound bar. Yes, ma'am, fireplace. What's great about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. Okay, very pretty. Perfect. I just, I, I like how they have like the colors in here. The colors yeah. are very pretty. Yeah. Now there is a centralized vacuum underneath there. And something that I want to comment on, this piece is supposed to come off, okay? But somebody decided, look at this. Oh, hang on. What? 
somebody decided that this side needs to hook down and look at that side it needs to hook up so about for 20 minutes before Andre and I recorded this I was playing around with this either both sides hook up or both sides hook down you know what I'm saying right the things we know <laughs> I know the things we know Andre but I do like that that sofa it's it's, it's really good you oh, know yeah. for if you have people over, it's just a lot of seating, you know? Yeah, four-seater. Crazy. In here, Andrea? This is a very nice size half bathroom. Yes. Got a window there. Yes. And then, okay, Come on so in we here. have cabinets right here. Yeah. And right here, as yes. you can see. And this here, I don't oh. know what this is. What did I think you that's do? just for show. What did you do to that? Nothing. I, think oh, okay. just, I don't think that opens. <laughs> right? No. no, it's probably just for show. Right. And then you did it behind you. Yep. You got the sink and then a cabinet here. Yes. All right. But it is a good size. Sure is. In hey, Andrea. Everybody no knows. No doubt about it. Everybody knows these bath and a halfs struggle with the half bath. But the way Fleetwood did this, mm, <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice job. I, I love I, this. I agree. It's I probably this. one of the most spacious half baths I've been in. I love this. All right, going into the master bedroom, we have a pocket door. King size tilt up bed. Deep storage all the way around. You've that, seen it. That nail head uh, headboard, very yep. cute. Yep. Opposing windows. We've got little nightstands, electrical outlets. Yes. And storage with the spare there's chairs. There's the two chairs that go with the dining table. TV. Storage behind the TV. Yes, ma'am. With your fuse box. A drawer there. Oh, oh look. little jewelry drawer for all your jewelry. That's very cute. And then over here is the other wardrobe. Yep. And then we got three drawers on each side. With a side-by-side -side nice. washer and dryer. Love that. Very nice. And then we're gonna go into the master bathroom here. Here we go now. All right. Look at wow. the shower. Look at yourself. Oh, hey. Let me see. Huge. Wait. I like the seat. Wow. The seat. So nice. Uh, nice shower, adjustable head, nice guy dome. Very nice. All right. Over here, we have uh, adjustable shelves on both sides. Yes. And then we have the medicine cabinet. Oh, for all your medicines. Nice sink here, yes, very modern. And then we have, let's see, Matt, watch your knee. We got a drawer here, a drawer here. More storage there. Mm. Okay, we got the one over here as well. And then, oh, look at this. Man, Adjustable that's a lot of storage. shelves. I love this. Yes. Great space for linens. And then you've got the nice exit window here with the Max Air fan. Yes, and then Andrea, will you do the honors? Okay. Tap the toilet. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. All right. And Andrea, as nice as it is and as great as it is, and even though this motorhome won all the awards, you know the rules. It's now time to give people three things we love about this motorhome, three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? We got to do dislikes first. I just uh, want to get them out of the way. I'll go first. Go ahead tilt-up bed yeah don't like that never have like that not only that it is awfully tight in here Andrea and with that tilt-up bed being down it would make a tighter walking space yes I wish they would have had another slide out in this bedroom I agree that's just number one Andrea number two oh gosh talk to me I don't even know what don't you know I'm just stumped you know um usually when I'm stumped that means it's a really good motor home. oh my gosh Andrea <laughs> We didn't even mention the hide loft bed. Oh, did we totally miss that? Well, it was hidden. It's a hide loft. Oh, man, guys. 500 pounds. Well, the key is not Yeah, in we it. don't have the key. And did I freaking lie? It's, no, I didn't say the torque. 340, 700 pound feet of torque, 10,000 hitch, 6K generator. Oh, man. Andre, okay, give me I, this like. I, I don't know. I'm really <laughs> stumped right now. Well, I can give you a number two, and it's this stupid panel thing. Well, I mean, Listen, two not... up or two down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Really fixable, Matt. Uh, it's, it came this way. I'm sticking to it. 
and nobody's gonna disagree with me. I really me. hate to go there. Go there. Well, maybe not. But I can. I was gonna say. I got something the huge. The whole traveling in the passenger seat without a little table. Okay. Even if I wanted to eat something, it'd be nice just to have that there. Okay. You know? I do it's got a something very else. Tiny dislike. I got something else. Okay. I actually got a big something else. All right. I might destroy Let's the hear industry. It. Fleetwood might go bankrupt, cash <laughs> out. No, I'm just kidding. You ready? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Right. So because of that, you can't like split this. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're working over here and somebody's working over here. But like, if that was all flush, you know, like you'd be able to use the whole thing. See what do you I'm mean, saying? the floor? Yeah. No, because the table like you, pulls well, out. Right, but you, you're not... Pull the table out. No, like, I, I, I don't want to work on this side, you know what I'm right. saying? I, wanna, I want it to be flush so I can work in the middle. Yeah, I do hear you. Like, this here probably doesn't need to be there. That, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm thinking something makes it where it has to be there, but I don't like it. It's okay, okay. though. Okay, it is okay. It is what it is. That's the frontier. That's three things we don't like about it. Now, for the easy part, three things we love about this motorhome. Andrea, may I go first? Sure. Cosmetically, I love the headlight design. I love the way it looks. It's very Zelda inspired. It looks good. <laughs> but not only that, the storage on the outside, the XDR chassis with those double storage doors so you can put your coolers or your big stuff in on that slide out tray. Love that. That's number one. Okay, my love like is... No, I no, like, no. No likes. Only loves. Loves. My Talk love is this sofa. Okay. Yes. You don't even see, the panel? Even the panel. No! Because you, you really don't see a lot of these size sofas in motorhomes. Four cushions, yeah. You only see like a regular size sofa. Yeah, man. And the fact that you have this, it's so it's so comfy and just chilling here watching TV. It, this is like a home. I would live in this. Yes, and the fact that sofa's directly across from that yes. TV, that's fire. I love it. That's number two, and then Andrea, number three, I'm gonna go off the beat path, and I'm gonna give you number four. You know why? Because it's a Fleetwood. It's America, that's why. I love the colors in here. Just like... And for you, Matt, that's saying a lot. Seriously, like, <laughs> no, like, this is colors that both, like, any, any genre of person would like this. You know what I'm saying? Men are gonna like it, women are gonna like it, People that have stylish fashions like Andrea is gonna like it. People that have no stylish fashions like me, I like it, you know what I'm saying? Like it just looks really good. That's number three. And then number four, Andrea, it's going to be the half bath comboed with this awesome rear bath comboed with the side-by-side -side washer dryer. Andrea, and- Just a great, it's just great designs, you know? Kicking butt, taking take names. names. Taking names and kicking butt. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is $362,038. Andrea, MSRP. But guess what? We don't sell it for no MSRP. We get everybody a great price. Thank you so much, everybody who watches our YouTube. If you guys want to work with us, here's what you do. Go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that contact form. Based off of where you live, we have a dealership close to you that can get you one of these. Somebody from my team will reach out to you, find you the closest one, and they're gonna get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Yes. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Okay. Fleetwood does read the comments and mm. they watch the videos. They, so they want to see what you have to say. Um, we had a really good time, you know, reviewing this motorhome. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes. Let us know what you think. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. You know, it's hard guys. You're hearing in my voice. You, you, you're hearing Andrea's voice. This is our sixth video of the day. It's hard for us to do this. Yes. But the comments, the thumbs up, and the um, appreciation just keeps us going. It does. So we Thank you guys. come here to Texas and knock out a ton of units. So seriously, from the bottom of our hearts and the top of our hearts, thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.